let me tell you well the prayers the salah are a kind of blessing from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let me give you a kind of example well the thing is that you know whenever generally generally and that's where we having love with somebody what do we want to do with those person to whom we having love uh, for whom we having respect for whom we having a kind of dignity what are we doing and what are we willing for we are willing for that to sit with him we are willing for that to talk to him we are willing for that to spend more support times with him so just like that you know in general sense which can be acceptable to every single person in this world allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved his creation the humanity especially all his creation but the most beautiful and the perfect structure on the basis of structure on the basis of cognitive power on the basis of many more capabilities the human as one of the closest and one of the favorable creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and these are the only creation which has been thought to us who having the cognitive power okay mainly the cognitive power and also they are much powerful than the mountains which we are saying by using their brain they can achieve everything by using their brain they can go to the mars they can go to the jupiter they can go to the moon is that happen already okay so that's a very common thing like that the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to express his love and wanted to attach his creation with his own self and never wanted to make that push away because the human having one another thing and natural okay and what's that for a long time if we are not reminding to our own self the goods of someone which he have done with us okay what will we do then we will forget about everything and the beauty in our surrounding will uh, make us compelled to engage with okay so that's why the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to attach the human being with himself forever and what the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did on the on the night of miraj the beautiful night on which the prophet peace and blessing be upon him been to the been to the uh been to the been to the sky been to the place in the skies or the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were setting okay were staying so the prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him traveled the whole night uh to the jerusalem from the jerusalem to the first sky then to the second then to the third and fourth and so on to the seventh and on the top of that there were the place where the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were setting i mean we can set the chair up allah subhanahu wa ta'ala okay so what happens something very beautiful when the prophet reach were there the prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him has ha, have been mentioned in the holy quran and many more books the favorite one of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the more dignified one in his creation and the more strengthened one the one which has been suffered the most among the prophets which has been interesting the more uh among all the prophet which has been uh you know in complication the more among all his prophets okay uh, peace and blessing be upon them so that's why the allah had a very very close connection to him and the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked to the prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him when the prophet with uh, were entering to the place of the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by permission you know so the when the prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him get close to the allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked the prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him what have you brought for me from the earth so the prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon have uh, mentioned to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala oh my lord you are omnipotent you are perfect you don't need anything these all the things were yours so then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala what kind of gift have you brought for me uh, specifically so the allah so, uh, so the prophet muhammad peace and blessing be upon him mentioned really beautifully that oh my lord i brought for you the humility 
that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really loved. And what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded that as you know the nature is that whenever you are gapping someone they will and return gab you the gap. You know that remind me something love begets love if we are sharing the loves the love will come back to us okay if we are sharing or we are giving charity that charity will get back to us 10x of that okay the money i'm talking about and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make increment amplification and also mm, you know, uh, yeah, that's in our wealth and everything from what we are giving the charity. That's a kind of example I'm talking about. So the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and return also spoke to the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him that, oh my Prophet, oh my beloved, let me gab you from my son to gap. And what was that? That was the prayers. It is a long story, but very briefly, I just wanted to tell you that that was the gap from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us whenever a, uh, whenever a human a Muslim a believer he's standing to me for the takbir for the salah for the prayer I'm talking to him I'm giving him a response so Allah is giving us a response but unfortunately we are not realizing because of the busyness and because of the more love of that word they made us a little bit uh, ignorant so may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the kind of perception the kind of power and bro uh, 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 through which basically we can get close to Allah we can come true of all what we have had promised with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the all Amir world. And I can tell you like that's a lot of other things. Uh, but for now, um, you know, I hope that's even because most of you people are not watching very lengthy video. And yeah, nothing else. Well, the only thing which I will be demanding here is that give me the motivation and the motivation should be in the form of your support, your appreciation. And what will that be? I'm not asking from you any kind of money because I want to share what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given me the knowledge of or the knowledge from I want to share. Okay, the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessing be upon him taught us that if you having a piece of knowledge uh, and you having the clarity about it with and which can be beneficial for somebody don't think about anything just propagate that or transfer that or share it with another person as he can also be benefited okay so that's what am i doing i need your support and the support going to be in the form of press the like button if you're new to my channel make sure that you will subscribe my channel press the bell icon as well for the latest update and leave a comment how to make improvement and what should i do to make more improvement and how can i bring more knowledge to, to the table to share with all of you until next time flowing man